New at 6 tonight, this Toledo man is facing a number of felony charges after police say he kidnapped a woman and assaulted her over the weekend. Sophia Paracone, she's live in West Toledo near where this all went down, according to TPD. Sophia, do officers think the woman was randomly targeted? No, Jeff. Actually, police say that the suspect Kevin Thompson knew the woman and victim advocates tell me that that's not all that uncommon and that in most cases, sexual violence is committed by someone that the victim knows. West Toledo resident Kevin Thompson II is behind bars after police say he kidnapped a woman in Detroit over the weekend, handcuffed her in his car, and brought her back to his home on Mayfair Boulevard. That's where police say he then assaulted her. The suspect and the victim are known to each other. This was not random. Thompson is being charged with multiple felonies, including kidnapping and two counts of rape. He's being held on a $750,000 bond. Toledo police couldn't share how officers were notified whether it was from the woman herself or by a hospital. We're talking about something that is a very traumatic event that happens to someone to their body. Regardless of how officials are tipped off, Rachel Gardner with the YWCA says reporting a sexual assault helps survivors. Support is important, whether that is through advocacy support, trusted loved ones, or even potentially pursuing a criminal justice response. Gardner says it's common for victims of sexual assault to know their abuser. More common than not, what you what we see is folks who are assaulted by someone who they know, who they trust. So common that the Rape, Abuse and Incest National Network reports that 8 out of 10 rapes are committed by someone known by the victim. 39% are committed by an acquaintance and 33% by a partner. It is the perpetrator knowing, grooming and gaining trust and then perpetrating violence against that victim. The YWCA offers both short and long-term support to survivors of sexual and violent abuse. TPD says the Lucas County Common Police Court also has an advocacy program. Court proceedings can be very lengthy and probably confusing to people who aren't dealing with the criminal justice system on a regular basis so that advocate can walk with them through that entire process. Thompson does not have a history of violent crimes in the Toledo court system, but we did find a number of traffic related crimes like driving under the influence in speeding. He's due back in court on October 8th. Live in West Toledo, Sophia Paracone, WTOL 11.